So here I am in front of Acer rubrum, the red maple. Sometimes this is even called the swamp maple. This is an Eastern North American uh, native maple uh, that is quite beautiful, in particular in fall color, brilliant red fall color. Uh, of the maples, this is one of the, I would say, the medium-sized maples. It can get quite large, but uh, as maples go, it is kind of medium-sized. So Acer rubrum, the red maple, uh, even when it's not in fall color, in particular uh, the bits that are on the in the full sun side of the tree, uh, you can see that the petioles are red and that's quite distinctive. All maples are oppositely arranged and you can see the opposite leaf arrangement uh, on this maple. Uh, now look at, look at the leaf, it's almost a, a trident type leaf, this one's broken, uh, but uh, here you've got a great example of the leaf. Uh, this pattern right here, very classic red maple. Uh, also, the buds are, are stacked up right here in the corner of the, of the petiole and are quite distinct as well. This is one of the earliest flowering maples. In fact, it's one of the earliest flowering spring trees. Uh, but the, the bloom is not quite, uh, it's not a big showy bloom, it's a little uh, tiny kind of red bloom that's down in uh, the tree itself. Uh, but look out for these red petioles, oppositely arranged uh, with this leaf, slightly lighter colored on the back and you'll be able to identify red maple. You're looking at the bark of the red maple and you can see that uh, this one is quite furrowed because this is an older tree. A lot of the ones you'll see in the home landscape will have smoother bark than this. Uh, and as the branches extend out of this one, you can see the smooth gray bark uh, that's a part of this tree. And usually it takes several years, if not decades, for a red maple to get uh, thick furrowed bark like this and, and much size on it. Now the trees in general, 40 to 60 foot high, 30 to 40 foot wide, pyramidal in youth, developing into an irregular crown. Now this has been used as a street tree uh, in some cases. Uh, the problem is it has quite shallow roots uh, and it does need quite a bit of water. And so typically a red maple will fail over time when used as a street tree. Hardy from zones 3B till, to 9. And here's a landscape tip. Naturally occurs in low wet sites, one of the first trees to show fall color.